I'll lead you the way to the tunnel. In the basement of the town clock church. Put your head on the ductwork. You can almost feel the history behind these you walls. You can see it has a dirt floor just like it always has. You got these little openings on the side where people could hide in there and also I think it's for ventilation. It served as a beacon of hope to slaves looking to escape through the Underground Railroad. From the, the docks where they were being shipped down south, they could see that steeple and knew if they could make it to this church that there would be people who would help them to freedom. The steeple was replaced last year with an exact replica of the original steeple built in the 1850s. In uh, 1915, lightning struck the steeple for the third time and literally exploded it. Pieces fell down onto the street. It's been more than three years since Jerry Finn decided to start raising money to restore the church, also known as Second Baptist in New Albany. The attention to detail is phenomenal, and to be a part of that and see it kind of come back to life the way it originally was has is, is just been a, a real thrill for me. They've restored the stained glass windows, new wooden entrance doors, and recently repainted inside. Something Finn didn't realize was in such bad shape until it was pointed out by a third grade student on a field trip. He looked around at the rest of the church and said, well, that looks really nice, but the rest of it looks just terrible. When are you going to fix that up? And I, as I'm looking up at the ceiling and stuff, and you can see paint curling and chunks of plaster with big cracks in it, and it's like, boy, he's right. Even though there's still a lot more work to do inside of the church, the next step is to build a gazebo outside along with a garden. Reporting from New Albany, I'm Gianna Caserta, WLKY News. Mm. And for those who want to donate to the restoration project, you can find a link on our website, WLKY.com, or the WLKY mobile app.